Hello, I'm Lee and I'm a packaging buyer at Lush Cosmetics. So uh, at Lush, we do look to use renewable resources uh, for our packaging. Uh, and one such item would be the cork pot. Uh, we work with a project in uh, Portugal um, from a material that had been uh, had, a, uh, had a huge industry associated with it from, from cork for wine and alcohol. Um, so it's freely ab available and it's a sustainable material. It's at the moment available in limited numbers, but we are looking to increase those numbers. Uh, and a second material that we are working with is a, a piece of material that we developed with a, a partner. And that is from a waste material uh, that we had been thought of that couldn't be recycled. And that is disposable coffee cups. And this is a piece of injection molded packaging that is made solely from 100% post-consumer coffee cups. We, um, we source this material. Our, our, our supplier has uh, a specialist recycler that sources this material and it's from well-known high street chains. So we are actually taking high street chains waste and we are actually making a piece of packaging from it. Um, we have looked to develop this piece, this material uh, further, which inc includes making some bespoke papers that we are going to use throughout our printed literature. We currently, uh, we use two forms of bio-placed plastics or materials. We, uh, we use a cellulose-based material as a clear film, but that is 100% biodegradable and compostable, both in home cost composting and industrial composting. And the other material that we use that's bio-based uh, currently is uh, an eco-flow material, which is used as a void fill. And again, that is a, a, a completely compostable material. Regarding um, PLA and bio-plastics, we currently aren't using any of those materials. Uh, and it's, it's in conjunction with the, the grey areas that surround those materials, um, genetically modified crops that, appear in, that are grown in locations around the world that already suffer from food sovereignty issues. Uh, the problem with um, the, the actual materials uh, sometimes are very weak to our products and would cause us issues. And secondly, uh, thirdly as well, we are the problem with end of life recycling. Um, whether they are completely compostable, whether they are completely uh, biodegradable. And the issue as well in that they could end up with a plastic material and contaminate that waste stream. Whenever we look at new packaging for a new product or even for existing product that we're, we're looking to improve the packaging, we have a certain uh, criteria that we follow. We don't actually follow a discipline such as uh, eco-design um, or perhaps following completely life cycle ana analysis, but we do use uh, an element of those. But we follow the, the ethics that's ingrained throughout the whole business, and that is can we, can we not use packaging in the first instance? Can we minimise our packaging? And actually, can we make packaging that is recycled and recyclable? We are, um, we are looking to remove packaging wherever we can. Um, with that, we are bringing out more and more naked products, packaging free products, and we offer a choice to the customer where they can choose to take packaging in a sundry style packaging with a reusable uh, second use aspect, uh, offering refills for that packaging and therefore reducing the amount of single use packaging, single use plastics especially, and uh, offsetting that embodied energy within the packaging by having multiple uses again and again and again. The whole industry needs to focus on the reusable aspect of packaging. It needs to offer second uses. It needs to remove single use packaging, um, of which Lush, we, we, we try very hard. We, 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 we try not to induce but second, single use packaging. And if we do, that has an aspect, we will offer a recycling route for that as well. I think the whole industry needs to look at how we use materials and the wastage of those materials.